What's going on everyone? This is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 6. Happy New Year to you guys. New Year's Eve as of this recording and probably release. So yeah, Happy New Year's. It's, uh, it's exciting. I love this time of year. It's always the time where you can start thinking of, you know, what's co what's to come? What are we going to do next year? New beginnings, all that kind of goodness. Always exciting. But I've been I've been taking a little bit of time off here on Hermitcraft. I've not been on the server much in the last week or so. Been taking the holiday time to spend more time with the family and all that kind of stuff and haven't really done a whole lot around here other than uh, a live stream with Tango. And, uh, and yeah, we started doing some more planning with that game that I wanted to come up with, that Riptide-based game. Uh, so you can see the box up there got a little bit bigger. We had a long discussion about some things I could do potentially with the game, and I'm super excited about that. We're not going to tackle that today because I don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to record a quick clip. Quick, uh, quick <laughs> episode for you guys um, to basically say thank you for the last year and you know say happy happy new year to you and Christmas for me it looks like it's gonna keep going even though it's been a few days since Christmas because uh, I didn't know I didn't know that I was supposed to press this button more than once apparently there's more presents in this tree and you guys are awesome you let me know that I needed to press it again we even get more fireworks and more lag. <laughs> so we get a cake this time. Yeah, this definitely validates that I was right that this was coming from Cub because we all know how Cub fan feels about cake. Let's do another one. Even more fireworks. Even more lag. <laughs> so much lag. Um, oh, wow. Now this is nice. Conduit is nice. And yeah, that's uh, going to be useful because I have plans for this right down there. I have plans for this. Uh, I saved it for, for 2019, apparently. <laughs> but we're going to do more with the bay in 2019. I promise you that, as well as the base below, uh, which I'm going to show you a little bit of some things I have done uh, already down there uh, today. But let's see what else we get, or if we get anything else. I don't know how many things are in here. <laughs> oh, nice. Shulkers. Shulker boxes. Always could use shulker boxes. I have so much like junk getting stored up. So many materials now because the seasons, you know, we're, we're kind of in the thick of it, you know. So shulker boxes are always good to have. Let's see. Is there anything? Else? Oh, yep. Is this a name tag? Does this say anything? Okay, cool. I just, I always need name tags and I hate trading for them because they're so expensive. So that is very nice. And is that it? How many fireworks he put in there? Okay, I think that's it. Very nice. So we got a shulker box, a cake, a conduit, a name tag, and of course the membership to the Concorp Country Club uh, that we got out of there last episode. So great. And, and in fact, I may use that today. I may use that Concorp Country Club to go do some of the driving range. I guess there's a contest going on. Uh, who can drive the ball the furthest? And I wanted to try it. I, I'm not sure I'll win or anything, but I think the contest is coming to an end very, very soon. So I want to get over there. And now that I can get in and play for free, that makes it even better. So <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, Cub, for the gifts. I appreciate it. And I'm going to have to find a place to store these. Now, I was in here a little earlier just kind of going through all my shulker boxes and sorting things because it was getting very, very nasty. And look at this. <laughs> I've got... I got all these empty shulker boxes now, which is nice. And then I got a new one from Cub, which is totally awesome. So yeah, now those are good to have. I think I'll put the cake in here. I mean, I have cake and cookies, I guess. This is just my junk food chest, apparently. Um, and then conduit. This is kind of like my, uh, you know what? I have one more conduit in my ender chest. So I think I'm going to put it in here. Look at this, this is all like organized now. I mean, I had it organized, but it, I had a bunch of other stuff that was junk. It's nice and neat again. So there we go. We have two conduits. Uh, I, I need more of these blocks, though. I might have to buy those to make the conduits uh, actually work. So anyway, that's good. I want to show you something I worked on off camera, I guess you would say. Uh, I was getting sick of losing slime balls, and I put in like a slime ball... Like transport tube, I guess you could call it. Let's let's come down here and take a look. I'll show you what I've done. 
By the way, this episode's probably going to be shorter than usual because, you know, it is New Year's Eve and I want to get back to this fa- family. But I did want to, like I said, record a clip. Cl- I can't say those words. Record a quick video for you guys to, to say, you know, Happy New Year. So look at this. So we're shooting the slime balls now. Where is the where's the card? I hope it's still traveling around. We'll see if it comes comes in here. But uh, yeah, the cart's going to come in, it's going to drop off, and then it's just going to shoot the slime balls. They're going to go up this water elevator with the bubbles nice and fast. And I'm really hoping to see that cart. If it's stuck somewhere. No, I hear it. I can hear it. I barely hear it in my ears. And I don't see any slime. So, you know, because we were so far up top, there probably wasn't anything spawning. But slime balls will come in. They will go up this. And let me show you what I want to do with this eventually as we expand the base. Oh, I think there was some that just shot up, I heard. So it did collect some. We probably just missed it. I'm hearing pistons going off and stuff. Okay, so it goes up above here. And I wanted to keep this exposed because I thought it might be kind of cool as we come through this part of the base to be able to see the slime balls just constantly streaming in from, from the slime farm below. So that's going to be there. We're going to open this up a little bit more to, to really show that off. But you can see what I did here. I kind of had to drop the water down because I didn't want to put ice in here to slide the ball, the slime balls across because it would block the view of them. So I just kind of dropped it down and then I bring it back up and go over top of the carrot and potato farm. And then they come over here and I'm pumping them into my bulk storage. So I used to have spider ice being stored in this silo right here. And now I have slime balls. Look at all these slime balls coming in. So that's great. Um, and then I think I want to do, I just put, look at all these. We don't need spider eyes. We got plenty. And I can't imagine what I'd ever use that many for. So yeah, this is great. Now, now we're going to have all the slime balls and already getting a ton of slime blocks. So that's going to be great for future farms and things like that because we want to keep expanding our base that way and doing new farms and all that good stuff. So there was one other thing that I did get time to do off camera that I want to show you and it's over in the winter district, I guess you'd call it, the little holiday themed winter area. So let's head over there and I'll show you what I've been up to. Here we are on the mini golf course and you guys remember I did hole number eight here and I wasn't quite done with it. I kind of left it unfinished. Uh, I had all this was exposing Oh, I had nether rack and stuff from when I plotted it out. There was all sorts of redstone showing and things like that. So I basically came in here and kind of cleaned it up. I used uh, the white concrete and the snow blocks, which I saw somebody else using over there. And also, per your guys' advice, I moved where the ball gets spit out when you jump it up on here. If you remember, let's see, do I have... A uh, snowball or something. I need to, to show you guys this. Hang on, let me get a snowball. Okay, now I'm prepared. We got a snowball. I can demonstrate where this goes now. You can see oh, it gets launched up. I love that. I love it. It gets launched up. And now it's actually going to end up down here. So instead of going way down there and having it skip the, all this section completely, it's going to go here. So basically, if you choose not to launch it up and you go through the side hoppers, uh, if you remember, it comes up right here. Uh, and then you would have to avoid the obstacle of this ice coming up and down via pistons on a randomized timer. So you can save yourself a stroke maybe two by launching it up, but not a lot like it was before. You would skip this whole section before. Uh, and now, it, you know, this will spit this out kind of randomly. You could get stuck in this corner. You could get lucky. And if you pick it up here, you could try to throw it over. I don't know if I can make it. Let's see. Yeah. So, you know, depending on, there's a little bit of randomness there. Depending on where that shoots, you could potentially do a one shot from there. Or if you get stuck in the corner, your only option really is to go this way and then over the edge. So uh, I like that there's a bit of randomness to that as well. But yeah, this course is coming along. I, there's a few more holes that need to be done, but I'm looking forward to when the course is finally open for business. And, and we have, I don't know how many holes he did total. Is it 12? I feel like it's 12. Right, but typically a golf course, even a mini golf course, I think would have 18 holes, right? So maybe there was only room for 12. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, you guys can you guys can remind me in the comments, of course, as usual. But yeah, that's all done, and I can finally walk away from this. And if needed, I may tackle another hole. I'll talk to Azuma because it looks like there's two or three plots left, and I don't know if we have any takers for them. So potentially, I may do another hole. Oh, by the way. 
I know some of you are going to tell me this in the comments, and I did see Mumbo's video uh, where he tried to come in and see our Santa's workshop, and unfortunately, it wasn't it wasn't quite working. Um, it looks like the villager has stopped in that corner. So probably just a chunk unloading thing where he was going around and around, and then somebody unloaded the chunks, and then it just made him stick in that corner. It looks like they're just kind of waiting for him there. Um, so yeah, this just needs to be reset basically. But the, yeah, there may be an issue with chunk unloading and entities moving, you know, it's Minecraft, so it happens. But yeah, that should be easy to fix, no big deal. But I was kind of sad to see that it wasn't running when Mumbo came by, because I think he was excited to see the thing in, in progress, you know, happening. But uh, it just wasn't, so, oh well. So anyway, I am going to take my new shiny Country Club, uh, Concorp Country Club membership book, uh, head over to the driving range and test my luck at, at launching myself through the air with Ender Pearls and Tridents. All right, we have found it. We have the long drive range, the driving range, and there's a long drive contest going on here. So let's read through these signs real quick. Welcome to the Concorp Country Club driving range. Cost to use this facility is two diamonds per stack of ender pearls. <laughs> Uh, long drive contest going on uh, until January 1st, so I'm literally on the last day that I could do this. Uh, oh, that's where it says, Ender Pearls. It goes down this way. I was reading it weird. Uh, unlimited free pearls for CCCC members, which is me. <laughs> now, thanks to Cubs Present. So, golf lessons available upon request. Flag colors from both sides indicate approximate distance. Markers and lines indicate uh, exact different distance from South T. So, we can see... There's flags, and you can see, oh, that's so cool. You can see all the way down to 200 blocks away, and there's, yeah, different flags here. Oh, this is neat. So it says I should probably practice before entering the actual contest. So I think I'm going to do that, and I think what I'd want to use is a Riptide 3 Trident, right? That's going to get us the furthest. So if I remember from playing the regular golf game, we need to just put Ender Pearls in our offhand, have our Trident here, and then it's just a matter of like getting the angle. So, and then we need to kind of keep track of how many blocks we go, right? So if we're at, you know, here, let's see, do you want to belly up against this? I would think you'd probably would want to, right? So you can see our uh, Z coordinate is 991. And so if we do this, and how does it go? You go like this, you right click and then right click quick quickly. I think, did I get that right? <laughs> it's been a while. All right, let's see how far we went. Maybe first throw will win the contest. Oh, look, it like went in an unloaded chunk. So I need to like walk, oh, there we go. Oh, look at, I landed right here. This is at 752. So, and because I can't remember what the first number was when we <laughs> took off, uh, I'm just gonna look at this sign and that should say who we are next to. Mumbo, I don't know, but it's pants. <laughs> so that wasn't our official entry or anything. I wanted to take a few practice shots, but it looks like had it been my entry, I would have tied Mumbo at least, and it's not very good according to Mumbo. So we wanna try to get even further. Here, Cubs 254. And it looks like Azuma's winning with 256. So I'm going to take a few more practice strokes here and see if I can beat that score or at least do better than Mumbo's It's Pants one. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready and I'm going to do my official entry now. Let's, uh, let's eat before we go. I don't know if having a little bit of hunger is going to change anything. You see, I got my F3 coordinate screen up because I'm going to use that to try to get the right angle. I want to have a, exactly 180 degrees uh, so that we know that we're going in a straight line. I also wanted to go around 25 degrees kind of looking up. Now, I'm not sure, you know, I kind of played around with that a little bit. 30 was too much and 20 was too little it seemed like. So we're gonna go 25 and then it's a matter of how quickly we release and click again. So I hope that was good. This is my official entry, we'll see. Azuma's gonna be hard to beat. And yeah, it's going into unloaded chunks. So let's take this off. And actually, um, well, I don't know how to calculate. So before I go load those chunks, 
I'll put a sign down and then I'll come back and figure out the exact distance. But uh, all right, let's walk forward. Let's see where we landed. Maybe we have a chance. Oh, oh, we are right on it. Okay, well, that's going to make it easier for me to uh, to know the exact distance. We went exactly 250. That is our official entry. We landed about right here. And so oh, we didn't win, but I think that was respectable. So we are, I like that it was an even number, at least it made it easy for me to find. All right, there we go. 250. I didn't win the contest, but that was a lot of fun. I suppose with a little bit of practice, uh, I could get pretty good at that, but I didn't have a lot of time to practice, but it was fun. And uh, at least I did better than Mumbo. And who else is on here? Better than false. Okay, she had a sad face. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> All right, well, it's getting dark here. So, yeah, as the sun sets, you know what? I'm going to sleep first. I don't want there to be mobs around here and ruin his course. So let's just sleep real quick. And uh, as I kind of said earlier, it is the holidays. I'm still, you know, spending time with the family. Didn't have a ton of time today to make a video for you guys, but I did just want to pop on, do a few things, and, uh, you know, say thank you for, you know, such an incredible year. 2018 was so incredible. Your guys' support was incredible, and I appreciate that, and I'm so looking forward to 2019. I got a lot of plans. I got a lot of exciting ideas. I got a lot more to do here on the Hermitcraft server as well that I am so looking forward to. So thank you all for hanging out and supporting the channel and watching my videos and all the cool stuff you guys do. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys have a very happy new year, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.